You need a ballast to regulate the amount of power that is fed to a lamp in a standard grow light system. Setting one up takes no time at all, whether you've chosen a digital or magnetic unit. Here we'll be focusing on the latter. Magnetic ballasts continue to be very popular at Growwell, especially with beginners and large-scale growers. This is hardly surprising. Our low-cost basics models have earned an excellent reputation based on safety, robustness and reliability. So then, how do you install and operate a magnetic ballast as part of an HPS or metal halide grow light system? Prior to starting out, just make sure the wattage of the ballast matches that of the lamp and both are compatible types of lighting equipment. For example, pair a 600 watt HPS or metal halide lamp with a 600 watt ballast. Ideally, place your ballast on top of a slab or brick. Failing that, a hard bare floor will work, as long as it's not wood flooring. You need the unit to be within easy reach of your reflector and a main socket or extension lead and nowhere near anything that might leak. Generally speaking, you should try and keep the ballast outside of your tent or room in hotter months to give more space to plants and help keep temperatures down, as these products do generate some heat. In winter, when the cold hits hard, consider bringing it closer to your growing area for a bit of added warmth. Put the cable coming from the reflector into the relevant cable connector on your ballast, then plug the ballast into a main socket. If you want to put your lighting system on a timer, combine with a suitable contactor or select a timer or combined timer contactor capable of handling the power load of your light. Our heavy duty timer proves ideal for single light rooms. Job done. In terms of good practice, we recommend following these guidelines. Always double check the secureness of your lamp and cable connections prior to use. Never cover your ballast with anything whilst it operates. Allow a minimum of 15 minutes after switching off your ballast or experiencing a power cut before turning it back on again. Wait several minutes after switching off your ballast before disconnecting your reflector. And consider slightly staggering startup times for multiple lights to prevent tripping out your mains supply. Finally, we'd suggest replacing your magnetic ballast every two to three years for maximum effectiveness and top performance. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll try our best to answer. Don't forget to give us a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more high quality, regularly released content.